Hello, everybody. Harkerback String Band. We have a few more minutes uh, for people to get in, but we'll start at about 3.30, and it's going to be fun. Get ready, to, get ready to kick up your heels, and how's that go, how's that go in uh, Old Susanna? Knock your knees and toes are clicking or kneels are rocking or something? We'll, we'll find out soon. We're doing it. That's right. That's Buffalo Gals. Buffalo Gals. Oh, Susanna, her knees kept the knocking, her toes kept the rocking. Oh, oh Buffalo Gals, thank you very much. You have to read us one more time, huh? Where's your hat, Don? Do you need your hat? Hold on. Oh, I, 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 I was told to wear a hat. I'm going to take up the base. How am I doing? But you look good. It's all about how you look. There's a Phillips bag. Just put it behind there. Just stick behind the by the mic stands about to your left. Yeah. Right. Base man. Yeah, you can you can uh, borrow Don's mic, I guess. Yes. It's in tune. This microphone's in tune, so and she sounds funny. It's because it's out of tune with her. No, I'm kidding my, you. Is my strap straight? I'm back. Okay. Hi, everybody. Let me see. I think it needs a little more. Maybe a little more volume. A little more volume. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. Well, I would like to welcome you to our second Sunday South of the James concert today. We have the Harkenback String Band. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them after I give you a few household things. Uh, there will be a short, possible short break in between, but our restrooms, if you go out of the sanctuary, there too, you're right. On either side, men's in this hall, ladies is in there. So that's those locations. Um, I had the privilege of hearing Harkenback I'm a docent at Magnolia Grange down on Route 10. That's a Chesterfield historical, historical building. And I've heard them play many times there. And they are really great and a lot of fun to watch. So I thought, what better place than Second Sunday to have this amazing group? So this is a little bit of their history. Harking Back String Band is an educational-based group of musicians and singers that perform songs and ballads that were popular during the 19th century America. In many ways, music from that era expressed and transcended the diversities of early America. Much of this music came from European immigrants who settled in eastern parts of our country, from indigenous people and from enslaved origins that are the co in continental Africa. So, without further ado, hark it back. <coughs> Uh, 
Uh, thank you so much for coming today. Um, this band started about, actually we debuted on Memorial Day at Pamplin Historical Park about um, in 2016, and at that time we were doing exclusively soldier songs uh, of the Civil War, both North and South, and we kind of evolved and grew and started incorporating more parlor songs and hymn and gospels, as well as some old-time music and um, a Christmas program that we do. Uh, so we're going to start out for you all by playing some old, I don't have to wear my glasses on this one because I play it by ear, which is, I mean, I should wear them here so I can see better, is that right? <laughs> We're going to worry about a little song called John, Brown, John Ryan's Polka. All these Johns, I'm getting all these Johns, big John Ryan's Polka, right? John. Uh, y'all ready? Here we go. One, two. <laughs> One more time. I'm working up a sweat on that one. We got an hour and a half to go already. Isn't that something? <laughs> I'd like to offer to you uh, some historical narratives of some of the pieces that we're going to play for you. The next one we're going to do for you is called The Rose of Alabama. And the lyrics to this popular tune that has African American slave origins was written in 1846 by a gentleman named Silas S. Steele, uh, who was a contemporary, was a contemporary of Stephen Foster. Sometimes called the Rose of Alabama, I prefer that title. And it's an example of many of the pre-Civil War minstrel uh, show songs. And it has since become well known to an entirely new generation. Why, Bonnie? Because? The outlaw Josie Wales. Outlaw Josie Wales, <laughs> that's where it was. Now, some um, think that this is a song about lost love, <clears throat> but it really isn't. It's a song about the love of a lost banjo. <laughs> so, isn't that right, Sean? <laughs> We give you the Rose of Alabama. Let me hydrate a little bit, please, and we'll do her. All right. Are you all ready? Get on one. Way from Mississippi Vale with my old hat there for a sail. I crossed a cotta cotton bale and the rose of Alabama. the bammy. Oh, brown rosy, the rose of Alabama. A sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. I landed on the far sand bank, I sat upon the hollow plank, and there I made my band the plank for the rose of Alabama. Oh, brown rosy, the rose of Alabama, a sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama.
The river rose, the cricket sang, the lightning buggy flashed its way in like a rope. My arm to fling on the, the rose of Alabama. Oh, brown rosy, the rose of Alabama. A sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. Hugged all along, I cannot tell. My rosy seemed to like it well. Banjo in the river fell. The, the rose of Alabama. Oh, brown rosy, the rose of Alabama. The sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. Like an alligator after prey, I jumped right in, but it float away. And all the while it seemed to say, oh, the rose, rose of Alabama. Oh, brown rosy, the rose, rose of Alabama. A sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. Oh, brown rosy, the rose of Alabama. A sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. Every night come rain or shower, I hunt that banjo for an hour and see my sweet tobacco flower, the rose of Alabama. Oh, brown rosy, the rose of Alabama. A sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. Oh, fare thee well, you bells of Spain, and fare thee well to the lives of Jane. Your charms will all be put to shame for the, the rose, rose of Alabama. Oh, brown rosy, the rose of Alabama. A sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. Oh, brown rosy, the rose of Alabama. A sweet tobacco posy is the rose of Alabama. Well, I tell you what, first I got to see what key I'm supposed to be in. That always does help. I'm still good. Uh, we like doing a lot of old time, you know, 19th century. I like the old time hymn and gospel songs, don't you all? Oh, yes. I just, got, I just like things for the 19th century, except for, you know, I like electricity even better, and maybe, you know, gasoline power car. But uh, I like the old time hymns and gospels. And the next one we're doing for you is called Are You Washed in the Blood? Kind of a lengthy story, I'll try and make it kind of short. Uh, it's written by a man named Elijah Albright Hoffman, uh, who was born in, uh, um, I can't even pronounce this town, Orangeburg, Pennsylvania. And Hoffman uh, is an ordained minister and he held several uh, pastoral positions in uh, the Midwest, finishing his mis misery, his misery, his ministry. <laughs> I bet for some preachers it could be misery, couldn't it? In, uh, in Illinois. Uh, not only was he a Presbyterian minister, but he was a composer of over 2,000 hymns, an editor of over 50 songbooks. Very, very musically talented. Although he had no formal uh, education or training in music, he learned how to play and how to sing by listening to members in the church, as well as listening to those songs uh, sung at home. But I like the quote that Hoffman uh, indicates here in regards to Are You Washed in the Blood? He says, a hymn is a lyric poem of reverently and devotionally conceived which is designed to be sung and which expresses the worshippers attitude toward God or, or God's purpose in human life it should be simple uh, material in form genu genuinely emotional poetic and literar literary in style those are hard words spiritual in quality and in its ideas so direct and so immediately apparent as to unify a congregation while singing it so you watch the blood by Hoffman. He asked the reader or the singer if they have been restored, have they been redeemed by the love and power of Jesus. Its powerful lyrics inquire into this commitment. Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you ready? Sing along if you like. You gotta be ready because we're ready. <laughs> Here we go. In on four, chorus lead it. All right, in on four. One.
Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing of Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed, Are you washed in the blood in the blood in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are you garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed, Are you washed in, the blood, in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? When the bridegroom cometh, will your robe be white? Are, Are you washed in the blood of the, the Lamb? Will your soul be ready for the mansion's bride? And you washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside your garments that are stained with sin And be washed in the blood of the Lamb There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb Are you washed, are you washed in the blood In the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood? In the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Nicely done. Yeah. Nicely done. We don't do PA systems very often, so this is a whole kind of a new world for me. I don't know how to plug things in, plug things out. But uh, I'm going to switch banjos. It might be Bonnie. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, might be do you think she has a joke or two? Uh -huh. She might have a joke. Not over a banjo there. joke. Not a banjo joke. No. Oh, this is a test, folks. This is, this is a test. So you have to shout out if you know the answer to this. What's the difference between a banjo and an onion? Nobody cries when you cut up a banjo. <laughs> Why do I miss everything? <laughs> Nobody. I, I certainly do. <laughs> no, you got it for me, Bonnie? <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness gracious. You having fun? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yep. I wonder if the kids would like to come up and do some percussion to Cuffy. Do you guys want to come up and play some percussion Anybody instruments? Come play some percussion? Come on up. We're going to do an old time song for you That'd called Cuffy. Time. No singing, just beat the drums. Excuse me. Well, <laughs> and it matters speaking. 
Gore, Miss Bonnie, she'll get you straight. All right. So we have a Gore. Cool. We have. I got a Gore. Okay. Mel, you got a Gore. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Now we have Mel. Mel, you got a Gore. No hesitation there. Got one, got one more Bonnie for this gentleman here. But y'all have to stand in front by Bonnie to play. You got to stand in front of Bonnie's stand. Right over here, gentlemen. Yeah, right here is good, buddy. Right here in front, right here. See my finger? There you go. And she's going to keep the beat for you as best you can. You ready? All right. And we're non-union, so we don't pay much. There you go. All right. And if you play with Oh, right. <laughs> we got work for you. Old time song called Cup. Y'all ready, guys? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One more time. A1, A1. So we're, we're done around five o'clock, so you can help us load up all the equipment. I guess not. <laughs> If you have fun, we'll call you up for another one, I promise you. We'll call you up. Great job. Nicely done, guys. Now, I'm pretty certain that most of you know the song, uh, Buffalo Gals, Won't You Come Out Tonight? Um, but again, by understanding the history, I think it helps put the song in perspective a little bit. Oh, you guys have been overruled. <laughs> You come to judge. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny, isn't it? As with many, uh, I gotta lift this up a little bit. See, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, right? Okay. Let's see, you go to the right. It's gotta go down. Okay, close enough. As with many uh, traditional early American songs like Buffalo Gals, uh, um, a lot of these were folk and minstrel songs, often in oral circulation before they appeared in published form. So. It's oftentimes difficult to say who exactly is the author of such a piece. But the premise holds true for Buffalo Gales, but credit is given to a man named John Hodges. And uh, anyway, that's what it is. But uh, what is known is that Buffalo Gales arose from the minstrel song, Lovely Fan, the old dialect for Lovely Fanny, which beckons a young woman of that name to come out and dance. And it was first published in 1844 by Mr. Hodges very popular minstrel song throughout the United States. And because of its popularity, its lyrics to songs were altered to suit the local audience. So if it's played in Boston, be Boston Gals, won't you come out tonight? Uh, if it's played in Charleston, Charleston Gals, won't you come out tonight? If it's played in St. Paul, Minnesota in January, dear, 
they ain't coming out tonight. <laughs> That's where we're from, I guarantee you so. so um, but what I like about the history of this song is the best known version, of course, is Buffalo Gals, uh, named after Buffalo, New York, with scholars suggesting Hodges wrote the song about the woman in the former uh, Canal District in Buffalo, New York. Uh, for at the time, the city of Buffalo was the western terminus of the Erie Canal and a place where canal uh, and freighter crewmen were issued their pay. Of course, when you got some money in your pocket, mm -hmm, what can happen? Um, up sprung many watering holes and concert hall dives and things like that, oh where the men spent their money on dancing girls. Oh they didn't put in the bank. They should have. Right, Shauna? Oh <laughs> we give you Buffalo Gals. All right. Elizabeth, when you're ready, make us happy. Down the street, down the street, and oh, she was so fair. Ah, oh, Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Oh, Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? Have a dance, have a dance, have a dance. I thought that I might have a chance to shake a foot with her. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Oh, Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? Well, Liz. Ladies, what you got? Yes, my dear, coming out tonight, uh -huh. coming out tonight, coming out tonight. Yes, dear boys, we're coming out tonight. We'll dance by the light of the moon. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Oh, Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? Uh -huh. I danced with the gal with the hole in her sock and her heel kept the knockin' in her toes, kept the rockin' I danced with the gal with the hole in her sock and we danced by the light of the moon. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Oh, Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? All right, Liz. Oh, she's the prettiest gal I've seen in my life, in my life, in my life. I wish to the Lord she'd be my wife and help her evermore. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Oh, Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? All right, chorus, tune, here we are. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Oh, Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? And dance by the light of the moon. And dance by the light of the moon. There it is. <laughs> you just blow the hearts, you blow the teeth. That's good. Look at me. Thank you. Mike, we can't hear you. Okay, thank you. We're very new to audio, so I have to kind of help. We are not audio people. We're from the analog generation, aren't we, Elizabeth? Remember the game Pong came out? Back in the 70s, we played that forever and ever. Watch that little ping pong. It was mesmerizing. I don't have a smartphone, a cell phone. I don't have a flip phone. I have no phone like that at all. But I do have six banjos. How many? The important things. Six. Yep. And uh, my wife has, it seems like every time I get a new banjo, she buys a couple new pairs of shoes. That's what I've heard. Yeah. That's what we heard, yeah. Well, Mark. What? How do you tune a banjo? I don't know. How do you tune a banjo? No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> Probably best. 
We're going to do another song for you called Church in the Wildwood. I'm sure some of you are very familiar with that one. Um, made famous, oh, well, I saw the Andy Griffith show, I think. I saw them singing the Little Brown Church in the Vale. It was made famous by the Carter family, wasn't it? And, Sean, I went down to, what do you call that theater, Swift? Swift Creek Mill and a story about the Carter family keep on the sunny side and they did the Little Brown Church or the Church in the Wildwood. I thought, oh, we got to do this one. It's just too fun and nice. But then again, I looked into the history of it. So let me bore you with that if I may. Um, uh, it's written by a physician named Dr. William S. Pitts in 1857. And what Dr. Pitts was doing is he was on a stagecoach ride that stopped in Bedford, Bradford, Iowa, on the way to visit his fiance in nearby Fredericksburg. So as the wagon stopped at uh, Bradford, that allowed Pitts to kind of wander around and enjoy the woodlands, and he found a particular uh, beauty in a wood valley formed by the Cedar River down there. And so while visiting the spot, Pitts envisioned a church building there and could not seem to erase that vision from his mind. So when he returned home to Wisconsin, and of course, being a very talented musician, there's one of them out there, right? A couple, a couple of talented musicians, I think. And so ahead. he wrote the church in the Wildwood for his own sake, eventually saying of his completion, I quote, only then, he says, was I at peace with myself. Now here it is. In eight, that was 1857. So now in 1862, Pitts was married, and he and his wife moved back to Fredericksburg to be uh, near uh, her er elderly parents. And he was surprised upon his return to the area to find a church being erected where he had imagined it five years before. He was surprised, 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 as they say in Andy Griffith's song. And the building was painted brown, hence the name, you know, Little Brown Church in the Vale, because that was a pretty cheap and plentiful color of paint back in the day, uh, Little Brown Church. And again, it was made famous by the Carter family. So how about we do Church in the Wild? How you doing, kids? We get we gotta get these guys up to sing, don't you think? Maybe next one. Yeah. Any mm -hmm. you kids back there like to sing? We can do that. Uh, what well, next one, maybe? Okay. All right. Yeah, that might be a good one to yeah. do. Yeah, that might be good. Oops. Oh, yes. New banjo, new strings. I got old shoes on though. How's your shoes, Dave? Got new ones on today. <laughs> Give me a little bit. Bonnie, another banjo joke. Oh, okay, we can. All right, this is, this is, this is going to be good. What's, why is a banjo better than a fiddle? Bob? <laughs> I don't know. Why is that, Bonnie? Because it burns longer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to like you. <laughs> I'm going to be burning my washboard before we leave. Can I take these out? Let's do Church in the Wild. We all ready? Everyone comes in together, and I'm four, all right? The verses are leading. Here we go. One, two, three. There's a church in the valley by the wildwood No lovelier place in the dale No spot is so dear to my childhood As the blue brown church in the dale Come to the church in the wildwood Oh, come to the church in the dale what is so dear to my childhood as the little brown church in the rail? How sweet on a clear Sabbath morning to listen to the clear ringing bell His tongue so sweetly are calling Oh, come to the church in the dale Oh, come, 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 
Come to the church in the wild wood. Oh, come to the church in the dale. Oh, spot is so dear to my childhood. That's the little brown church in the dale. Come to the church in the wild wood, to the tracks where the wildflowers bloom, where the parting hymn will be chanted. We will weep by the side of the tomb. Come to the church in the wild wood. Come to the church in the pale. No spot is so dear. From the church in the valley by the wild wood, when day fades away into night, I would fade from the spot of my childhood, win my way to the mansions of life. Come to the church in the wild wood, oh, come to the church in the day. Spot is so dear to my childhood as the little brown church in the veil. Oh, spot is so dear to my childhood as the little brown church in the veil. Thank you very much. Kids, do you want? Oh, I got a microphone. Kids, do you want to sing? Do you guys want to sing along? Who can read in this crowd here? Are you ready? <laughs> you might want this one. This is the tambourine song. Tambourine. Tambourine. Can you do it? Listen. Go, go. Get closer to the microphone. Get up to the microphone. Get close. Miss Bonnie, you've got a whole little ensemble here in percussion. <laughs> You ready, Bonnie? We're going to do a song for you called Old Susanna, written by Stephen Foster. He is a very prolific writer. I'll cue you when I'm ready. One, two, three, go. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do it. <laughs> you guys ready for Old Susanna? Read the history, though. It's very interesting, I think. <laughs> guys, you ready? All right. All right, Elizabeth. Take a sip. Watch Bonnie for the beat. You got it. Boy, don't come down the Bama with a banjo on my knee. I'm going to Louisiana. It rained all night, the day I left, the weather it was dry. The sun so hot, it froze to death, Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Had 
the dream the other night when everything, everything was still. I dreamed I saw Susanna coming down the hill. Oh, the buckwheat cake was in her mouth and the tears was in her eye. I'm coming for old Dixieland, Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Oh, Susanna, now don't you cry for me. I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. Soon I'll be in New Orleans and then I'll look around And when I find Susanna I'll fall upon the ground And if I do not find her I surely will die And when I'm dead and buried Susanna don't you cry Oh Susanna don't you cry for me I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee Oh Susanna don't you cry for me Bob, you want to take one? Take one, Bob. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. One more. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. <laughs> Nicely done. Take them out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. Thank you. Yeah, we'll do that another time. That ain't going to work so good in hard times. That's kind of a lament. <laughs> We're going to do Dave Brubeck on hard times come again no more, are we? Yeah. Uh oh, here comes the judge. <laughs> Nicely done. Are we causing you more problems? Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. That. A little yes. public shame is good for the soul, isn't it? We're going to do one more for you, then we'll take a break. So you all can stretch your leg and uh, come back and finish up with a couple more. Uh, but the one we're going to do for you next is uh, Hard Times Come Again No More. Again, written by Foster, as I mentioned earlier, a very prolific writer. And Collins, I, didn't, I don't think I told you this, but he's born on July 4th, 1826, in a white cottage on a hill above the Allegheny River on his family's 171-acre estate in the Lawrenceville section of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So he came from some status and some wealth. Unfortunately, he died broke and alcoholic. But in the mid-1850s, what's happening that kind of prompted Stephen Foster to write this song is that Pittsburgh was uh, in the grip of out of control unemployment and a recession to such an extent that the foster parents who are on this kind of a ladder and status were now down here, were bringing in borders to help offset the cost of their estate. Not to mention that a terrible flu epidemic nationwide was going on, outbreak of cholera, that in one summer killed 400 people in Foster's area. And within a few months, Foster's mother, father, and brother dead. So Foster saw poor people as his neighbors and some of the quotes from the song and suddenly their plea looks created a demand for his attention and their frail forms faint at the door called for compassion. While we all sup sorrow with the poor, these are but a few of the phrases that Foster wrote in this parlor song called Hard Times Come Again. Well, I think it's contemporary, don't you think? To yes. share one another, especially in hard times. Down when you're ready. You're out ready, buddy.
Let us pause in life's pleasure and count its many tears while we all suck sorrow with the bold. There is a song that will linger forever in our ears. Oh, high times come again no more. Is the song the sigh of the weary? Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days have you lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. While we see mirth and beauty and music light and gay, there are frail forms fading by the door. Though their voices are silent, their fleeting looks will say, oh, hard times come again no more. Tis the song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days have you lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. There's a pale sorrow maiden who throws her life away with the worn heart whose better days are old. Though her voice would be merry to sign all the day, oh, hard times come again no more. There's the song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days have you lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. That is wafted across the troubled way Tis the whale that is heard upon the shore Tis the dirge that is murmured around the lonely grave Oh, hard times come again no more Tis the song, the sigh of the weary Hard times, hard times come again no more Many days have you lingered around my cabin Thank you very much. Let's take about a 10 minute intermission if that's okay. Use restrooms, get some water, come up and play around with Bonnie's percussion. Oh, yeah. Maybe give her a joke. Let's, so it's about 4.15. Now let's get online at about 4.25. We'll finish up with a couple more fun ones. If you okay. Hope you could stay. Can you all stay? Oh, please do. All right. I still love it if you don't. We'll all right. <laughs> we'll chase you down the parking lot. Take a little break. We'll be back at about 4.25. We'll do a little bit more. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.
Y'all ready? One. Everybody. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Precious Savior, still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise forsake thee, take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms have taken shield thee. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Got another banjo Daddy. joke, buddy? Do you have another? Let's see. Hope not. <laughs> and don't just <laughs> What's the definition of perfect pitch? Ooh. <laughs> when you can throw a banjo into the dumpster without hitting the sides. <laughs> <laughs> Do you what? want more of this abuse, Mark? <laughs> You were right on track. <laughs> My wife's a therapist. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> My wife is a therapist. <laughs> let's do Cindy Cindy. We've done Crawdad songs so many times. Let's, let's, let's do Cindy Cindy. Old time tunes. We're just going to have fun like we're not talking. We're just going to have fun. All right. You've got to give me a second. Okay. I've got to put, I've got to put fingernails on. Oh, you got to get your fingers on, I'm don't you? I've got to put my fingers on. Well, I'm going to take a bump then. Yep. Oh, those new shoes working out, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> got to tell you a quick joke, and I, I told the band this so many times, but I told her I got another banjo, and of course, you know. And she said to me one time, she said, how many banjos do you need? And I, and I only have six, and I opened up the closet door and looked at all her shoes and the little pigeonhole thing there, you know, and she goes, because she got a dress, I go, how many pairs of shoes do you need? And she said to me, she says, they all have purpose. And I said, well, <laughs> 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 they all have purpose. <laughs> 
You got any jokes about wearing bam, uh, banjos for shoes? No, okay. but I'll find one. <laughs> Let's do Cindy City. Have some fun. You ready? Oh. Y'all ready? One. Are you ready? Am I ready? Oh, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, you ought to see my Cindy, she lives her way down south. She's so sweet, the honeybee swarm around her mouth. Oh, my Cindy is a daughter, and my Cindy is a peach. She throws her arms around my neck and hangs on like a leash. Get along home, get along home, get along home, Cindy, I'll marry you someday. Get along home, get along home, get along home. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, get along home. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, I'll marry you someday. Get along home, Cindy, get along home. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, I'll marry you someday. Oh, Cindy went to preaching, she swung around and round. She got so full of glory that she knocked the preacher down. Oh, my Cindy's got religion like she's never had before. When she hears my banjo playing, she's the first one on the floor. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, get along home. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, I'll marry you someday. Get along home, get along home. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, I'll marry you someday. Swanee River. You like Swanee River? Another Stephen Foster song. I gotta change banjos, Bonnie Hammer, and more jokes oh. than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's right there. C C is G. <laughs> C senor. You got any more banjo jokes? I do. All right. Don't you have any instrument jokes besides no, banjos? No, just banjos? What is wrong? <laughs> What's up with that? All right. I've been talking to my wife. What do you call a thousand banjos at the bottom of the sea? Uh oh. There you go! Big hands of a little lady! What's the answer? Here's the answer. Good I start. That. I didn't hear the answer. Uh, what's the a answer? A good start. Oh, a good start. Oh. All right, one last one. This is it. What is worse than one banjo? One percussion. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> 
they're getting it. See, Mark, you've got them. You, they know now. They understand. Yes. Sean, do you have any availability tomorrow at your office? I, I think I need a little therapy there. Session. Special session. I do. Yes, thank you so much. I'm, uh, Swanee River, of course, uh, also called Old Folks Back Home, and uh, um, written by Foster. Um, Foster states that the song's main theme is the despair of a slave sold to another plantation, uh, this being uh, separated from his family, a practice which, a practice which seemed especially hard. Uh, it was one of the major points against slavery at the time. Was Foster and uh, who were Uncle Tom's cabin, Harriet Beecher Stowe, they were pretty tight and pretty close. So he was truly uh, looking at the heart of, of slavery. But overall, what Foster's trying to say to the song is no matter how far we may travel, or what sadness of the world impose upon us, or how many banjo jokes get thrown my way, all of our hearts ache for the best memories of childhood, security, family, and home. And I know where you live, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> we give you Swanee River. All right. Elizabeth, when you're ready.
way down upon the Swanee River, far, far away. That's where my heart is turning ever, that's where the old folks stay. That up, we would have a dinner at your house. Good golly. That's all right. It's all right. It worked out. It worked out. Okay. It sounded good. Let's do, um, can we do sweet by and by? We should. Okay, Bonnie, I have banjo jokes. I'll change banjos quickly. Oh, you know something? You know something? I don't know that I have anymore. Well, it's going good. But anytime you want to make up one, we can. Oh, I'll tell them about the one why watermelons get I'm married, Vine. I'm going to find some this week. You will find some. I mean, there's all kinds of them out there, but there's some that I just can't say in mixed company. <laughs> so, Bonnie, why do watermelons get married? I don't know, Mark. Why do watermelons get married? Because they can't elope. <laughs> why did I fall into hey, that? Are you sure? Am I straight? You're good. You can repeat you it. say they can't elope? They can't elope. They can't elope. They can't elope. Y'all can certainly sing along with this one. Sweet by and by. Sweet it's a long, by. lengthy story. Make a long story short. This gentleman comes down to his co-worker's office, and he's in a funk, and he's feeling sad. And, and his co-worker says, well, what's wrong with you, sir? And he said, uh, it will be all right by and by. <laughs> and so his co-worker thought, wouldn't that make a nice hymn? So he starts writing out the lyrics, and the by and by depressed man gets up and starts getting his fiddle out and works out the melody. And here you have sweet yeah. by and by. That's a long story short. Okay. All right. I think it's close enough. All right, here we go. In on four. In on four. In on four. One. Here we go. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by and by, we shall meet. On that beautiful shore, the melodious songs of the blessed, and our spirit shall sorrow no more. Not a sigh for the blessing of rest. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet. You are bountiful, Father of all. We will offer a tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love. Blessings that hallow our days. Take it home. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, 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 we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, 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 we shall meet on that beautiful shore. We shall meet on that We'll do one more for you. Do um, crawdad. You want to do crawdad? They would love to do crawdad. Then I got to change banjos like again. Okay, we'll do crawdad. We'll do crawdad. 
I don't know if I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> Believe me, you will like crawdams. I like crawdams, which is also known as poor man's lobster up north. Yes, it is. Oh, I love crawdams. That's right. Poor man's lobster, right? We call them crawdams. I don't see any of my youngins anymore. I think they all went home. They all went home? Yep. I think you we got them too worked up. Anybody else want to have them? Take straight me out of here. Thank you, dear. Someone's <laughs> got to dress me. <laughs> they used to make good bands. We're going to close should, with you a... Should see, you should see that fancy guitar strap to Mark has. He looks like a Mississippi boat gambler. I don't gamble anymore. I gave that up. I found Jesus. Amen. I'll tell you what. Crawdad song, though, right? Yep. A uh, popular southern folk song. Workers who are uh, building levees from flooding the Mississippi River uh, were the first uh, to sing it. Um, and the tradition comes from play party song, African American Blues. So they probably sing it more, but you know, we you get a lot, I'll get a pull. Oh, is they're kind of working along, but we work fast, so we're gonna play it like about 50. How many speeds do I have, Bonnie? Uh, have fast, faster, and take off. Hee hee. Hee All right, we'll close with this one. Let me get a chance to tune here. This new banjo is just jumping all over the place. Uh, Anyone play an instrument? You got new strings, new instrument. Takes a while for it to behave itself. Took me 47 years to get married. That's how bad my strings were. Ain't that right, dearie? Oh, well, that girl go get me a talk. A talk when I get home, ain't she? <laughs> The beatings, will, <laughs> the beatings will come in. All right, here we go, Pig. When you're ready, you're all ready. It's a fun one. Boys first line. Ready? Love it. One. <laughs> you get a line, I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line, I'll get a full day. You get a line, I'll get a full. We'll go fishing that crawdad hole, honey, oh baby mine. You get a line, I'll get a full day. You get a line, I'll get a full. We'll go fishing that crawdad hole, honey, oh baby mine. Sit on the bank till my feet get cold, babe. Sit on the bank till my feet get cold. Looking down that crawdad hole, honey, oh baby mine. Hi, Bob. Sit on the bank till my feet get cold. Comes a man with sack on his back, honey. Comes a man with sack on his back. Comes the man on the sack on the back, taking on the crawdad, as he can back. back. Honey, oh baby mine. A man fell down, he broke his sack, honey. Down he broke his sack, sack, see those crawdads back, back and back, honey, oh baby mine. Heard the duck say to the drake, honey. Heard the duck say to the drake, there ain't no crawdads in this place, honey, oh baby, mine. Uh, you get a line, I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line, I'll get a pole, babe. You get a line, I get a ball, we'll go fishing that crawdad hole. Honey, oh baby, mine. Honey, oh baby, mine.
Thank you so much. That's a fun one. Thank you. This was so fun for us. It really was. I'm so glad we were invited to do this. Um, we do have cards on the back of the table. You can follow us on Facebook. We have other events coming up. Actually, we're kind of running down our season. Right? We got one more. One know. more Christmas. Bob, I'll send you an email. We got one more. We got one. Is that right, Lauren Hardy? We got one more uh, Christmas program yeah. coming up, and that's about it. That, that's all. But thanks a lot. Give yourself a hand. Thank you for coming, everybody. What a wonderful audience. Spread the word. So Bonnie much. Cards are back there, right? Yeah. All right. You want one more? Okay. All right. What are we, what are we playing? Uh, let's do. You want something fast and rowdy? Okay, we can do that. Amazing Grace. Uh, amazing Grace. Yeah. You want Amazing Grace? Yeah. Wait, I won't do that oh. rowdy though. Mm -mm. What key is that in, Peg? What key? Oh, G. It is. Usually we do it. G. In I got. I got changed banjos again. Oh, C and D. You see, well, how I many? I only have two oh. pairs of shoes. Well, if you bring all the banjos. You oh. might as well use them. That's right. Absolutely. We'll close with Amazing. We, we could play. A, you know, we we got songs. You know. There's, just, there's a pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a pizza joint just down the road. Peg, am I good here? I'm good. All right. Okay. I'm only allowed to use lettuce, ice waters, and a cracker every now and then. Yeah, so we don't go out anymore. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right, Elizabeth. Amazing grace.
It's a little bit later in the, in the uh, genre that we do, but it's a nice one. But no, we don't do that one. Would you fly around my pretty little miss? We do fly around my pretty little miss. <laughs> Is that flying somewhere? Do you want to hear fly? You want one more? Just tell me when you got to go. It doesn't hurt my feelings none. I've had therapy, right, Sean? <laughs> Let's do fly around, but we, uh, Let's do fly around. we do about it. We have about an hour and a half program of just hymns and gospels. We've done some tent revival kind of program, old 17th, 18th century style things. So we do have a whole genre of that. If the church ever wants to bring us on some Sunday morning just to do old time hymn and gospels, we mm -hmm. could do that. All right. Fly around my, you okay? Fly around my pretty little miss. Oh yeah, you're going to love this. You guys are making me working hard for my dinner tonight. Boy, I'm singing for my dinner. Where is that, Brian? Okay. Uh, I cooked last night, so we're eating leftovers. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh. Leftovers are always good after a gig. This thing's supposed to be somewhere in our book, isn't it? Yep, fly around my pretty little miss. Mm -hmm. Now, like a lot of old time would, would music. Would it be under F? It's right next to Lorena. <laughs> or Swanee River, kind of, sort of. Right in like a lot of old time, time music, you know, depends on the region it was played. It would be different instrumentation, things like that, different accompaniment. And people will kind of write their own lyrics. Of course, Bonnie just was in the mood one day, and she wrote some lyrics. Except for the first and fourth one. <laughs> you look off mine, Don. It's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I forgot the... There it is. We got, he's got the, he's, he needs the big it. print, doesn't he, Bonnie? Somewhere else. <laughs> D, 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 D. All right, fly around my pretty little miss. All right. That's not that's old, that's old something. Here we go, right? And I want... Fly around my pretty little miss, fly around my daisy, fly around my pretty little miss, you almost drive me crazy. Fly around my pretty little miss, your smile of sweet as sunshine. Fly around my pretty little miss, I'll kiss you in the moonshine. I fly around my pretty little miss, your lips are sweet as candy. Fly around my pretty little miss, I'll dress up like a dandy. Fly around my pretty little miss, fly around my daisy, fly around my pretty little miss, you are so crazy. One, two, three, four. One more time. One more time. Fly around my pretty little miss, fly around my daisy, fly around my pretty little miss, you almost got me crazy.
Thank you. <laughs> Woo. Thank you so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. No, thanks for coming. We can play all night, but not, actually not all night. We will play all night. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Thank you very much. Great audience.